This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 208 for Wednesday, December 13th, 2016. This is Brian. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, December 13th, 2016. Is it the 13th? I have no idea. I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. All right, just check it. All right. I change it over. There you go. And this is Lisa. It is. Always the buzzkill. Oh, always, <laughs> always got all... It's the grammarian in me, oh, you know. Goodness. I'm an excellent editor. <laughs> Listen, I was busy today. I'm just I know. working. I'm lucky I got this. We're lucky we got this far. Uh, we are. Partly because we're frozen. One of us is frozen. Brian likes it this cold. Yeah, you know, I don't mind it. I don't um, mind it cold. Freezing. Um... So yeah, let's let's just chat about the weather. Um, it's really really cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's actually colder today than it was supposed to be. It's probably twice the the temperature it was supposed to be. Um, it's colder today than it was supposed to be. It's twice the temperature it's supposed. It's to be. It's warmer than it was. Tw- twice as warm as it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be four. <laughs> It's really cold. Uh, it's about 14 degrees. It was supposed to be 7, so I consider that a... Ooh, heat wave. A heat wave. Um, I can't it seem is, to get warm. Yeah. Um, which does bring up an issue uh, this time of year with shipping. So we should talk about cold weather shipping. Pretty much for the months of December, January, and February. There will be random times when we feel that it is too cold to ship bottled ink. And so we may hold back a package that contains bottled ink for a day or two, depending on the weather. Um, We depend heavily on um, the weather, not only in Appleton, but across the country. We look at, you know, storms that are coming and passing. Uh, We also check in with our um, postal people who really are a great source of information as to how your package travels, where it sits overnight, whether or not it sits overnight, depending on how we ship it. Um, But occasionally you may get an email from us that says that we've held your package for a day. Um, And if you really, really, really want it shipped, we're happy to ship it. But if it arrives um, frozen and broken, um, that's why we try not to ship it. Yeah, we're just trying to avoid that. Uh, we have very, very few instances of that actually ever happening, but... Um, it is a possibility. Yeah, we don't want that to happen, you know, and especially if it's something, you know, you've been looking forward to, um, you know, you, you, that last thing you want to do is open up your package and there's a... And there's the ink you've been waiting for and it's frozen, yep. the bottle's broken, it's not how it should be. So um, just kind of keep an eye out for tracking. Um We'll, we'll, we'll let you know. Yep. If, if it gets cold here, we'll send an email, and our default is, though, to wait. Uh, we may be, it looks like it's going to get cold tomorrow, colder tomorrow, and a uh, high of 2 on Thursday, but then it's going to warm up. Um, and we'll, we'll email you, and if you want us to go ahead and ship it, we'll ship it for you. In other words, uh, um, we'll just hold it for a day or two. And, uh, so it that. warms up. And if you live somewhere south, uh, I may mail myself down to you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just saying. The AP meteorological team. There you go. Is out uh, looking Fly for Fly me you. someplace warm. Uh, speaking of warm. Speaking of warm. What about warm? Well, it's a nice, bright, warm color. Uh, are we segueing we into are. the ink of the week? Is this the ink of the week? I think it is. It's really cool. It's. I mean, I thought it would be good, but this is a gorgeous color. We, we we should we should note that we ordered this ink back in March. Yes. Um, before anybody even knew this was coming out. Yes. Um, we got and, to look at the secret uh, sales catalog, and we got to which order. which is hefty. It's oh, it's, it's huge a, for what four hundred page manual. And so we got to take a sneak peek, and we placed orders. Um, it was. February it, it or was, March. It was in March. Yeah. It was in March. And quite honestly, uh, I, I knew this was coming later, right around the time of Miles Davis. kind of forgot about it. And then we got a shipping notice on Friday invoice. I think so, yeah. And it said, hey, it's going to be here Monday. <laughs> um, so we got one package on Monday. We got another large package today. Yeah, uh, lucky, Mopalunk, coming. Lucky Orange. And uh, Chris did a, a nice little a quick swap comparison today. Um, Lucky Orange versus the new Sailor Kin Mocha Side. Yep. And, ah, you know, if you like the, the, the new Sailor, 
This one is uh, a hair darker, but still really, it's just, it's nice. It's a nice, nice it's orange. It's a bright, vibrant, mm -hmm. um, happy, if you will, um, orange. Uh, our photographer Jason did a great job with some of the pictures. Um, yeah. Jason rocks. Um, so yeah, so that's in. Uh, you can also get it in cartridges, which is cool. Uh, international cartridges. Um, comes in the 30 mil, that, that really cool little fluted bottle um, that everybody loves. And, uh, and there it is. Uh, it'll be around for a little while. Uh, these usually are, are around for four to six months and then they move, Montblanc moves on to another color. But they never tell you when they're discontinuing it. So if you're considering it, get it sooner than later. Um, it seems like they, uh, just like with Lamy and uh, Pelican Edelstein, their ink of the year, it seems like they're discontinuing them sooner and sooner. Yeah. And this is a really cool color. We always buy... Uh, we always grab two of each of the new inks that come out and we keep them for ourselves. So because we don't share. Uh, you know, I never. <laughs> never one thought one about for it that me, way. one for you. I thought it was just because. Wow. We had a backup. No. No. Okay. Uh, moving on, because Lisa doesn't share. <laughs> um, you know, last two weeks we've been talking about some new sailor stuff that's coming in, and I, I kind of want to do. We should talk about a couple of them. We had we had ten new models come in, and we should we should kind of talk about why this is what this is, and um, this is the best. So okay. This one here is the best. You've got one because we don't share. <laughs> uh, we don't share, so yeah, I've got one too. Um, this is these are Progreer Slim. This is a metallic blue material. I forgot whatever Brian said. It is to die for. It's, it all, is, it's almost got a hint of teal in it, doesn't it? It it does. I would call it like a marine blue or a, yeah, it, it it's just to die for. It's, it's really gorgeous. a great color. I, I looked at it. I opened it up. You were upstairs. I closed the box. Chris opened it up. He says, "I will buy one right now." <laughs> um, I took one. Uh, Lisa grabbed one. Chris bought one. Um, uh, Jason. Uh, we we all kind of tag teamed on him and uh, Jason I, really loved it. <laughs> he fell in love. And Jason, um, who is you know when we hired him in July, um, barely knew what a fountain pen was. Um, he is amazingly talented and creative. Um, but you know this was a whole new world for him. And he didn't. He was the only one in the company without a sailor. And and there certainly was no pressure. But, you know, he's up in the office with Kim and Eric and Steph and everybody's, everybody's just talking sailor. about their sailors. And, um, and then this came out and he saw it when he was photographing it and he just kept talking about it and talking about it and talking about it and talking about it. So I texted his girlfriend and asked if um, she had a Christmas present for him yet. And she didn't. So we um, finagled that she came in that very next morning. Um, Jason went down and tested some pens uh, to kind of get a feel for what Nibby liked. And um, she snuck in in the morning um, just when he was coming to work. Uh, Kim and Steph kept Jason busy and um, she came in and bought the pen. And uh, that was what, Friday? Thursday? Yeah, um, Thursday maybe. And or, or maybe it was Friday. It was Friday because then, he came in on Saturday. Then they came in on Saturday, and thank God she gave him the pen because I don't think we could have kept it a secret for Another all the way until Christmas. Had, yeah. Because even after she bought it on Friday, all day Friday, he kept talking about it. Oh, that's such a pretty pen. If there's oh, any left. Yeah, if there's any left after Christmas. and So it was really awesome to see them uh, right after she gave it to him. And he just, um, I think he texted Steph and Kim over the weekend and said he just kept writing with yep. it. So. Well, he texted us later, too. So uh, It's a nice-looking pen. It's metallic blue. Um, and this and some of the other ones that we're going to we're gonna look at here, uh, or at least the next three, uh, I believe are Japanese domestic-only pens. Um, these were literally on the shelf at Sailor Japan. Uh, they were extras. We bought them. They're they're just they're not generally available. We can't order them. They just happen to be there, so we grabbed them. Um, 
this one was so popular we have what did we sell four of them in the store and i think we only <laughs> we only have three left for heaven's sakes uh, good looking pen 14 karat nib it's um, gorgeous i could i could go on and on uh, it really goes well with uh, Yamadori. It was a good match for this one. Uh, in, in, in the light, it looks a little more teal than in the picture, but it's a, you know, there is no real it's got deep blue like this. I mean, there's a blue 1911 standard, but this one is, this one's just a nicer, I think a nicer looking blue. And it, and it really is, uh, metallic blue is a good way to describe it. It's not shimmery. It's not sparkly like a rodden. It's, it's not quite pearlescent but it's kind of looks like a car kind of looks like a car like the finish on a car oh okay yeah which is metallic yeah right yeah mostly. so anyway that's one we got a couple just a couple of those left i mean literally i think we literally have three maybe two um super the pro gear slim size only I mean, yep. that's what these are the next one you're gonna have to talk about um i love it persimmon um Persimmon, it's, red, they call, it, they call it persimmon in one place, red in another. I wouldn't call it red. No, it's not I red. would it's, call it's, it's it orange. It's orange. persimmon, yeah. It's really bright. I am not going to lose this thing in my purse. Um, I love the gold trim, and it's different. It's just really cool and different. Um, you know, if you like an Edison Collier in the persimmon, and a lot of people do because it's that really the pops. bright. Yeah. Yeah. Same kind of thing. It's it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Um, so that one, we have that. That's also another Japanese domestic uh, issue. Um, the other one that uh, came in that is kind of similar to one that's kind of in the lineup, but not when you compare the, the two next to each other, is the metallic purple. Again, a metallic sheen to it. Um, not a shimmer, not a sparkle, but it's really a cool pen. It's similar to the blueberry, but I think this is this, more... This has more purple and less blue. Yeah. I yeah, that's say. a good way to put it. Um, Very cool color. Very no, unusual. And, and there are people out there that collect sailor pens like Pringles. I mean, you, you can't... You know, in weird colors like this, mm -hmm. they're just... Well, the cool you know, thing is... Come by. Yeah, they're... It, it isn't in the regular lineup, and uh, we seem to, since we became Bespoke, we uh, have access to uh, some of these cool things, and literally they find pens on shelves, pens in boxes. I want to be that person who has those pens under their desk. I just well, you know, it. I wanted to talk to you about that. <laughs> but... Uh, now these are cool. We're excited that we have them. Uh, the next, uh, next couple that came up um, are... Uh, these are not Japanese domestic only. This one, I just want to say, is a fantastic picture. Um, Jason rocks. And Steph does an amazing job yes, putting all this absolutely. together. Absolutely. Uh, 1911 large, transparent. Uh, this is a special order only pen. Um, so it is kind of a regular lineup. Uh, but, you know, you never see it. It's a bespoke uh, model as well. Um, so you could put a Naganata Togi nib in this. But it, uh, it comes with a gold converter instead of that uh, chrome, that rhodium plated converter. So it matches all nice. 1911 large size, 21 karat nib. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I have one of these. I picked it up at a show in uh, Denver last year. Joel Hamilton brought it over to me and I, would, I was... We should have waited. Well, I was trying to find a nice way to ask and you just said buy it. So, <laughs> uh, I, you know, I always... Obey the wife and... Can I get that already? Next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the last one we'll show, and there were other there were other variations. Um, uh, here's a 1911 large transparent with rhodium trim, so there's a little bit uh, more of an icy look to it. Um, neat, neat looking pen. Um, 21 karat nib. We've got different nib options, and uh, what we have on the website is, is pretty strict, but... If there's something you're looking for that's not there, you can call us and we can see if we can match match something up. Um, but it was the only way to do it because these are, you just can't order these. You know, if I order, like these two transparents, we can order, but it's going to be four to six months minimum to get them. So, um, cool pen. The other ones that we got were, were variations on standard, um, 
standard pens, so Pro Gear Slims with different trim versions, gold trim instead of rhodium. So if you've liked those Pro Gear Slim lines, but um, you don't like the rhodium trim, which most of the Pro Gear Slims have, no, we've got uh, we've got something for you there. Um, it's a Japanese week, isn't it? Apparently so. Um, these came in what two weeks ago? Yes. Um, Everybody was drooling over them. Uh, Namiki Chinkin is in the house, um, and there are what about six of these? Six or seven. There are six, I believe. We got we sold one. Mm -hmm. Got rid of. We sold one. Um, they come in two different. Two different styles. This flat top style. And then there's a more tapered Yukari Royale kind of uh, style to it. Um, well, these flat tops are a little more reasonably priced. Uh, but this chinkin work is really great. It's essentially, it's carved out um, to reveal the, the pattern. Um, really fantastic. Uh, this one happens to be the, uh, the cherry blossom. Uh, and there's a bunch. There's a crane. There's uh, you know grass. Uh, and then for whatever whatever reason, I don't I don't know why. Brian's um, favorite. There's a cat. And look at that little kitty. Look at that detail work, though. I mean, it it amazes me what you know Jason and Steph do upstairs. It amazes me what Chris, our resident artist, does. And, and they are all incredibly talented, but this, oh my God, is so cool. Yeah, for whatever reason, Lisa won't let me buy this pen. <laughs> no. Um, it <laughs> probably equals both of the King of Pens that, and then some um, that I'm getting for the next two holidays. But yes. uh, it, it, it's really beautiful. Really, really nice stuff. It's fun to look at. Uh, you don't see it very often. Uh, we have it in the store um, on display. So if any of you local folks, um, come on in and check it out. Um, and if you're interested, they are up on the site. And yeah, they're on the site. Jason and Steph put together some gorgeous pictures. Um, and you know, speaking of local folks, I'm going to skip over okay. item number five here. Um, I just want to remind folks, Appleton Pen Club um, is this week, Thursday. Yes, it's a busy week for us. Yeah, it's a busy week. Uh, Thursday, and the, uh, the title, the format, the theme, as it were, um, One Last Hurrah. Uh, so, what does that mean? Uh, Kim came up with uh, bring in your favorite uh, pen and ink that you acquired during the year, and uh, we can all tell stories about how we got it, where you found it, um, what your favorite ink was. Uh, you know, sometimes the, the story is just as much fun as the actual pen. What do you think you're going to bring? Are we, are we bringing, literally bringing one pen? I think I'd bring more than that. But... Oh, please, like I can do one pen. Of course not. I'll bring a bunch. Uh, but on Thursday, we might have one more new pen for us. On Thursday? Mm hmm There's a package coming for us on Thursday. Oh, there is. There is. That's right. That's right. Every year, Retro 51 sends uh, some of their retailers um, an exclusive pen, and I collect those. So. Uh, last, year, last year, it was what? The candy cane? Candy cane was cute. Candy yeah. cane. And I actually got one last year. Thank you. <laughs> the year thank before, you. we Thank you, George one. and staff. <laughs> Um, the year before it was, uh, what was it the year before? Little ornaments, little round little ornaments, ornaments on okay. it, I think. Yeah, always holiday, Christmas themed, it's cute. Um, I love retro. We, I have a, quite a collection. Yep, yep. So, yeah, that's, so that's coming when? Tomorrow? Thursday. Thursday. Um, but with Pen Club, um, it's just so much fun to have everybody bring in their favorite stuff and, and just share. Uh, and we are meeting up in our office and kind of giving a tour of the uh, kind of behind the scenes administrative office. And then uh, we'll go out into the plaza and uh, do a little show and tell. Yeah, so that's it's fun. Um, anybody who's local or can make it, uh, I think, what's the time on that? Seven? Seven. Seven o'clock? Um, we can meet in the store and then we'll go from there. But yep. uh, I, I, I've been I've been real pleased with, with the turnout. Um, and we're kind of getting some people out of the woodwork and they're coming from, you know, not, not necessarily close e either, you mm -hmm. know, um, just, uh, use your discretion. I know Thursdays we're supposed to get a, a, a snowstorm in, yep. so be safe, um, be safe. You know, I mean, just we'll, we'll have another pen meeting in, in January. So, uh, and I th I'm thinking, are we going to try to make it over to the, the coffee shop? 
for the January meeting? Or I believe how's that, so. How's that yeah. Kim, so? our marketing director, is working on um, scheduling some things down at Lou's Brews uh, starting in 2017. Uh, they've got a great menu. You can get coffee or pastry or whatever. Um, they, they make s- a mac and cheese <laughs> pulled pork pulled pork sandwich. Now just think about that for a minute. Mac and cheese with pulled pork in between toasted bread. How many minutes in did we start talking about food? 21. Right. But man, that's a good sandwich. I'm just um, telling you. But Lou's Brews has uh, quite a bit of space so we can kind of spread out and be noisy and yeah, not yeah, uh, disrupt their business. It's, it's, a, it's a, about two blocks, two blocks down, three blocks down the street. Um, on the Starting other side. in January. Starting in January, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, uh, AP Pen Club on yep. Thursday. Uh, I'm jumping back here. Uh, and uh, tomorrow, uh, our very own... Nope. What? Number four. Number four? Oh, I forgot number four. I'm sorry. Um, I don't have a picture of it. That's why I don't. I didn't mention it. We, uh, we got in two new Stipula inks a couple weeks ago. Um, a dark blue and a dark gray, and we received in four more uh, this past week. Um, sweet pink, bright green, fading gray, and light blue, and uh, they're really Good pretty. Good memory. Well, I just wanted them. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the light blue looks nice. It's a yep. kind of a, almost a turquoise. Um, cool colors. They've done a nice job, and you they come in the same... Um, I should know how big it is. What is it, 70 mil? It's a big... big 70 cc's, I think like it says, that. yeah. So 70 mil bottle, um, nice big wide mouth, easy to fill your pen. Uh, but uh, it's so really for the, pretty... for the Netto. Yep, for really those, pretty colors. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's nice to see Stipula kind of... I think that they're, they're taking a cue from everybody else, you know. Most have already did an expansion on their, their ink line, uh, which has been very successful. Yes, beautiful um, Very popular, colors. and of course, uh, for those not in the know... Um, the the secret is is that the Monteverdi ink is uh, made by the same gentleman who makes the Mont Blanc ink. So, um, hmm. you know, for those people who who poo poo the the Monteverdi ink, um, you know, because of the affiliation with the Monteverdi pens, which you know maybe are are uh, kind of entry level, mid level pens, um, the ink is nice. It's nice. It's good yeah. ink. Um, Good flow, pretty colors. Uh, they've done a nice job. The burgundy they have, the bur- is, is not, now, of course, the burgundy is now, what is it, Napa, Napa Burgundy. Napa Burgundy it is, is, a, is a nice, nice color. So, and they're all nice, and they've got a huge line. So, Stipula is doing the same thing now. They're adding on to the line. Um, and, you know, maybe some of the original Stipula color, colors were kind of, you know, not as popular, but um, except for musk green, there was one, and musk green and saffron. Uh, which sometimes is labeled yellow. Mm-hmm. We, we discovered that this week. They, yep. they label them differently depending on what day of the week, apparently. We like a challenge. We like a challenge. Uh, and now they're coming. some of them are coming in white boxes instead of red. So you might see, I don't know if that's a changeover to white, but some Probably. of the new ones came in red. So um, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever they had. Whatever they had, I guess. So, um, And that stuff, uh, I know we're, we were taking pictures today, so that those should be up tomorrow. By the time anybody watches this in replay, it'll be it'll be up. Um, so yeah, so it's a big a big ink week, uh, kind of o- overshadowed by Lucky Orange and Miles Davis um, uh, the last two weeks. But uh, you know, stipula, we can talk about it more next week once we get it up. I'm sure there'll be some Think Thursday. Chris will do. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we should be getting the Jazz uh, Miles Davis uh, pen. The pen. pen we should be should. coming soon. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, being a, a trumpet player uh, myself, I think that's going to be that's going to be a cool pen. It, it looks cool. So, uh, what else we got? AP Santa. Yes, um, our new team member, uh, seasonal help. He's getting ready to take off. AP Santa. Uh, we had a contest, and you had to uh, go on the website, um, handwrite uh, so your wish list from the website, and then mail it in to Santa. And he has received all of the entries. The cutoff date was yesterday. So whatever was received um, by the time that uh, the mail came in yesterday, there was even uh, somebody sent a priority mail package to make sure it got oh, in on really? time. Yeah. I didn't see that one. Yeah. I know uh, there's a huge stack. I mean, yes. it's, it's... There's a whole box full. It's... So we have uh, Kim, our elf, helping Santa and um, sorting through... 
uh, you know, I was impressed at how um, ambitious some of the lists were. Yeah, some of them are going going for broke. That's for sure. Well, if you don't ask, you don't get. That's I suppose. Right. Um, um, but uh, I believe that Santa will be making the announcement uh, tomorrow. I think. I believe it is tomorrow. And I thought I overheard him say that um, he was considering more than one winner. You know, and that's and that's all right. I think you know. I mean, we can we give the main uh, main prize. Uh, we'll pick something from somebody's list, and uh, and you know. Why don't we just pick a couple, a couple small token items yep. off a couple other people's lists? You know, they get a little surprise bottle of ink or or something else um, uh, in the mail. That would be nice, nice little Christmas present. Make some of these morning. Yep, morning, day, afternoon, whatever, whatever. Yep. So, um, yeah, we should have that up uh, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow on afternoon, Instagram, probably. Tomorrow afternoon, yeah, we'll see what's uh, what's going on there. So. It has been a blast to go through so many of the letters and. Uh, some were just straightforward, Dear Santa, I want this, this, and this. Others had a whole story. Um, there were happy things, sad things. Um, you know, it's been a really good year for some people, a really rough year for some people. Um, so it was really special to go through and to, uh, to read all of them. Yep. There are a couple that, that really stood out, um, I think, personally to us one the other day really kind of yeah. hit us strongly yeah for some reason i think the one that i wrote didn't get didn't make it in um the one you wrote to santa yes, yes oh yeah, yeah. But then, there was nothing saying that i couldn't write one day he'd be santa well you can write you just can't win <laughs> every you own a I pen store every I day know. is christmas no but i can't just go in the caves and just like <laughs> that's right um <laughs> anyway <laughs> um I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's it for this week. Uh, we're kind of getting in toward uh, toward Christmas. You know, actually, we're 11, 12 days away. It's, it's been crazy. Uh, we went in on Sunday, and uh, we were just going to go in for an hour and start to pull some orders for Chris and Dave. And we ended up staying for, I think, four hours and filling five buckets just to try and get caught up. And uh, by the time we were done, we had another huge stack of uh, orders. So um, thank you all for uh, patronizing us. It, it, we truly are a mom and pop, and uh, everybody on staff is uh, really wonderful and, and truly grateful for what, we've, what we're building together. Yep. So. So. All right. Um, I think that's uh, about it for this week. Mm hmm uh, thanks for joining. I hope to see uh, local folks uh, on Thursday at uh, Apple Pen Club. Um, tune in next week uh, for more talks about uh, pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. And check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Good night, everyone. <laughs>